Hello, this is John Chernus, and I now want to talk about the application layer protocol DHCP, another very important protocol that is a behind the scenes protocol. You don't really know it's happening, it's kind of happening uh, behind the scenes, as I mentioned. So, this is basically the protocol that gets you your IP address when you boot up your computer or you take your laptop around and plug into other companies' networks or other locations. Um, Basically, it's a way of automatically getting an IP address assigned to you based on the network you're joined to or connected to or plugged into. So DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, and we're going to see it's a very uh, straightforward four-packet process for how you get your IP. So without uh, for any further ado, let's go ahead and uh, start up Wireshark here and actually uh, observe how we get an IP address for our computers. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Before I do that, I want to show you, and let me just go ahead and minimize that. Most computers, this is a Windows XP machine, most computers are set up to automatically get their IP address. So I'm going to go to Show All Connections. Under My Network Cards, I'm going to focus on the local area connection, not the wireless, the physical wired network card on my computer here and I'm going to right click on that and go to properties and uh, the reason I'm doing this if you do this on your own computer you're probably going to see the same thing under internet protocol and properties that uh, these are set to obtain an IP address automatically to obtain a DNS server we know what that is now after studying that um, these are set by your internet provider and uh, on your computer by default to be automatically assigned and the reason that is is if you take your computer around to different locations your IP address will change the DNS server you connect to to get your host names like yahoo.com resolve to IP addresses changes depending on the DNS server uh, that you're basically uh, is a function of the network you're sitting at or residing at where your machine is plugged in. So for most PCs, laptops included, uh, you don't want to do use the following and then type in the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway, or you don't want to type in the preferred and alternate DNS server. The chances of error there are too great. There's also a possibility of two people on the same network typing in the same IP address and creating what's known as an IP conflict, and that's going to cause one of the uh, users to not be able to get on the network. So we want to leave these settings for automatic. I'm just going to hit cancel here. And that's kind of the first step with DHCP. Now I want to actually show you how you get your IP address. In order to do that, I'm going to have to artificially release my IP uh, back to the DHCP server and then renew it. What usually happens is when you shut up your computer at night, you basically uh, turn off your um, uh, you release your IP address back to the DHCP server. The DHCP server actually uh, has your IP address reserved for a certain amount of time. We'll see how that works shortly. Uh, why don't I go ahead and start with that. If I go to the command prompt and type ipconfig, I don't get a lot of information about DHCP. There's actually no information shown there. But if I type ipconfig space forward slash all, I see a lot more information. And basically what I see here is that my DHCP server is listed here under all my IP address information. It actually shows me the IP address of my DHCP server. That's right here. Um, and it also shows me when my lease was obtained on Sunday at 1.15 in the afternoon and when it expires at Monday, August 16th at 1.15. So I basically have a one day or 24 hour lease. This is all dependent on whoever takes care of the DHCP server, however they set that up. Uh, for that IP to be released back to the pool and given to somebody else. If you have lots of IP addresses to assign, you want to keep that length very long. If you don't have a lot of IP addresses and they kind of are a, a limited amount of quantity of IPs to give out to your network host, you want to shorten that so everybody gets a chance of getting an IP. So I have it set to one day on my DHCP server on my device uh, in my house. So basically, what we want to do is release that address and then renew it just to see how this DHCP server process works. So what I'm going to do is actually go back to this Wireshark program and go to Capture and go to Interfaces. I'm going to create a new session here. I'm going to go to Options again to make sure the promiscuous mode is turned off. And I need to click that to turn it off and then hit Start. Okay, I'm ready to go. I go back to my command prompt, and the first thing I'm going to do, whoops, got the wrong thing here, is to go to ipconfig 
and then forward slash release. This is a way to force your IP to be released back to the DHCP server. This command won't work unless you're an administrator, or, uh, your user account you're logged into Windows with has administrator privileges. I do, so I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to basically release that and I see that uh, three frames showed up uh, and I'm not going to see any more frames right now because I don't have an IP address. Now what I'm going to do is renew that with ipconfig forward slash renew and what's going to happen is you're going to see four new DHCP based frames appear in my sniffer in uh, the protocol analyzer. Let me go ahead and hit enter. Won't take long and a few more extra but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit capture and stop now and then focus on what happened here. Okay, I've stopped the capture. Now I can go back and see if I got my IP back. I did. In fact, I got the same IP back that I used to have before I released it. Um, you can actually see that here. It's the same one. And the DHCP server does try to give back the same IP that you had whenever possible. If it's not possible, it will give you a new IP. But it gave me the same one. Now let's go back to the sniffer and take a look around and see what we can find. These first three frames were actually the release of the uh, the IP back to the server. I'm not going to focus too much on that. Uh, not too exciting. It's just trying to find the DHCP server so it can actually send this packet to release the IP back. This happens when your computer shuts off too, by the way. <clears throat> not a whole lot there to talk about. What I want to focus on is when I renew my IP, and it's a four-step process. The process is actually DORA, discover, you see the D for discover there, offer, request and acknowledgement. So when I learned this, I remembered the acronym DORA. Discover, offer, request, and acknowledgement. It takes four packets, four frames, to get an IP address. So the first thing we notice here is my computer here trying to renew its IP. In fact, it actually shows the same IP. That's just because it remembers that that's the IP it used to have uh, before I actually released it. So what's happening here is I'm actually, oh, I'm on the wrong packet. I'm sorry. Let me back up. That was wrong. This is when I had my IP and I released it. That's the third frame here. So I did have that IP up until when I released it. I was looking at that wrong. Here I don't have an IP. You see that? 0.0.0.0. .0. That's kind of like going back to here when I released my IP. Do you see that right there? That's what happened after I released it, and that's what's showing here in the protocol analyzer. And what I'm doing is I'm actually sending a broadcast out. When it says 255, 255, 255, 255, that's a broadcast frame. It doesn't show the word broadcast, but that's what it is. It's a special type of broadcast called a DHCP broadcast or a discover packet. It's trying to find a DHCP server, so it sends a one packet on, on the network basically looking for a DHCP server. That's the purpose of that packet. So uh, basically after that, this device here is actually the device that's the DHCP server. It responds back and it's sending out an ARP broadcast saying, does anybody have this IP because I want to give this IP to the host requesting the new IP. That's me when I typed in ipconfig slash renew. That forced this discover packet to go out onto the network, a broadcast. Now this machine or device, the Cisco router uh, in my house, which issues the IP addresses through DHCP, is checking the whole network to see if anybody has this IP. The reason is it wants to offer that IP to me, to my computer, and that's what happens here in this frame right here, the third DHCP packet. It's a DHCP offer packet, and basically the source is the uh, DHCP server 192.168.1.1 that's the DHCP server and it's offering uh, to the destination which is me 192.168.1.107 it's assuming I want to accept that as my IP address so it's offering that to me now here it shows me again again it doesn't show an IP because I don't officially have the IP yet until I actually um, request it and acknowledge it. So right now is a request packet going out and if I break this down in the internet layer you're gonna see it's kinda of weird. The source IP is all zeros, the destination IP is all 255's. That's again a broadcast. You can see it right here. Uh, I'm actually making a request here. This is my computer 
Uh, we can prove that by looking at the Ethernet header, and you can see the source is 00123FEA. If you recall, that's actually my uh, Mac physical address of my computer that uh, is sending that out. That's my, and we'll see that in a minute when I actually get my IP back. Just remember 00123F. I'm actually sending a broadcast out requesting this IP to use, and the IP I'm requesting to use you can actually find it in here if you scroll down a little bit it will be in here somewhere I think it's in this uh, bootstrap if I'm not mistaken somewhere in here the IP that I'm actually requesting uh, here it is I think under requested IP address and there it is you see it right here 192.168.1.107 I'm requesting permission to have that IP address assigned to me and I'm sending that broadcast out to the network to somebody to respond and say it's okay and that's what happens here in this DHCP acknowledgement frame this is the last frame in the uh, session remember we had discover the release was earlier when I released my IP so this is the first frame discover discover packet the offer is number two number three is the request and the acknowledgement is number four and that's the DHCP server acknowledging that it's giving me this IP here's me the destination and it's actually saying yes you're gonna have that IP address and if you break this down and look at the uh, details here give me a second here under bootstrap protocol you're going to see that the actual IP it said now it says your IP your IP is 192.168.1.107 it's telling me that it, you now have that IP address there's no question now and then it gives some other information not uh, too important to go over it here um, it actually shows a few things about the DHCP server so, such as how long it's going to take before your IP address uh, will expire it will automatically renew by the way every half of the, the uh, session so one day is 24 hours so always one half into the lease your computer tries to renew that doesn't matter if your lease time is one hour or one day or ten days it's always one half into it so uh, it shows things like the router the DNS server uh, the name of my computer, my domain name, and some other things. All that stuff is offered by the DHCP server and given to me in that fourth packet, that acknowledgement frame. So again, to re reiterate, um, discover packet is the first packet where you're requesting a broadcast for an IP address. The offer is coming from the DHCP server, offered uh, back to me, and this is actually a broadcast back to the network, and I'm going to respond with a request. Again, I don't have my IP yet. Uh, I'm broadcasting back that I want that. And it's really only on this fourth packet here, this fourth DHCP packet, where I truly get my IP address uh, sent back to me right here, and that's when I have it and I get to keep it for another uh, 24 hours or one day, and it will renew one half into that lease 12 hours as long as my computer's on. If I shut my computer off for three days and go take a vacation or take a week off, I'm going to lose that IP after one day, and then if somebody else plugs into my network, they may conceivably get my IP address, but that's okay. When I come back and plug in, I'll just get a different IP address and I'll be functioning perfectly fine. Since I'm a client PC, I don't have to keep the same IP all the time like you would normally with a server. Servers typically have the same IP constantly for a long period of time, and they get their IP statically entered like I was showing you earlier. Uh, another term for that is hard-coded. Okay, I think we're done, and we're going to wrap this discussion up now on DHCP.